Hey guys, a very warm welcome to another guide. Today we're going to check the server GXT servers, which is a new server which opened on this weekend. And since the server is very new, a lot of you got a lot of questions and I try to answer all of them. And why is this very important? A kinda easy answer. This is a very custom server and this means a lot of things are different and it's based on an older version of Rebels. So I will go with you and together we will do the first 30 minutes on this server and I will show you how to get level 175 without any effort and where to make money, where to get cards, where to get things which you can tame and try to answer all of your questions. For this video I've decided to take the Deva race. I will go for the mercenary because I think the mercenary after testing some classes but for the beginning for your first minutes I really liked the mercenary. I as well liked the marksman. I liked the shadow hunter but liked the other ones more. Tried the kahunas but um, didn't really like them that much. In the beginning you will see the quick start angel. You double click it, click quick start and it will teleport you and level you to level 50. You will get a lot of buffs and what you will do in the first step is go to the job supporter. The job supporter is over here and you will open your skill menu, click this little plus and it will bring you to job level 10. Before you go there, you go to the buff genie, it's the rebels buff genie and click full buff and it will give you some additional buffs which you didn't have before so now you raise stronger than with the starter buffs. Now you can take your class. I will choose the Holy Warrior. Yes, I am sure. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. And it will teleport you to the first Crystal Valley. And now we will open our inventory and see that we got some rings. As well, the growth potions, the stamina saver, bee drink, the Halloween things, the ones that got a cooldown. Uh, now I will take the bow, open the gifts, take all the deco, show, 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 show. And I know some of you, you like these wings. Personally, I hate it when they move that much. So I don't take them on. And this is a very cool deco which will give you some extra bonus and it's kind of nice. It's timed items so you won't have it that long but it's okay for the start. I will just try to click everything what maybe isn't in the main buffs. Getting the chip, equipping this funny things. They add some cool stats as well. And I think we now got all the buffs. The thing which you're seeing here is the return scroll. You will need it from time to time. And opening the loot one. Thanks for subscribe. You see you will level kind of fast. But the thing which is very important which I haven't showed you is okay we need to skill our skills. And only one of the skills is very important for us at the moment. Of course we will need our heal. Additional skill it's called skill farm ship level 1. And well I will show it to you because this skill is kinda cool. You go here, use the skill and it kills everything close to you. The skill scales with physical attack. Warrior classes are a little bit better here. And it got a very long range and a very high attack. And it got a dot, a damage over time as well. And it will help you to level. Once you got a high level, it's not that helpful anymore. It's more of a farm skill. What a cool guild. Catap gang and the PK. Wow. I need to ask them to join. That's cool. Oh yes guys, um, you seen the guy before me, he opened, he killed the koala and opened the hidden dungeon. Um, this server got some custom EXP rates and the normal dungeons got them, but the hidden dungeons don't got better EXP at the moment, so don't go inside the hidden dungeon, just do the normal mobs. And now since you reached level 105, you will get teleported to the class change guy again. Now you open your skills, again press the plus, which will level all the job level for you. And now you can change your class. 
you will go to the one which you want to go, but I will go for the soldier, which is the pre-class of the mercenary. And now it will ask you to go to the next dungeon. I click yes and will get teleported into the sanctuary. Just some quick leveling of all skills. And now we reached level 135 and we'll get teleported into the next dungeon. You will teleport you to the job supporter. You just have to check if your job level is already job level 50, then double click the job supporter, choose the class you want to play and press I am sure. Now on the next step it will teleport you to the next dungeon and this is a cube dungeon. Cube dungeon is a little bit special because if you try to enter the cube it won't work. You will need a party so you need to create one once you got the party, you can enter the cube dungeon. Opening your inventory and you will find out whether you got some of the gift boxes, for example this ones. You get all the masterclass things which you can equip now. As well you already got a better bow, a better mace and you can now choose which one you would like to use. For this dungeon I will go for the mace. Now after you reach level 155 you get teleported to the next dungeon and this is the most important dungeon, it's called the Ice Queen's Palace and here's a very nice strategy how to do this dungeon. And what you will do now is you go to a group of mobs, make your skill and as you can see it will damage the mobs, then cast and damage over time and then all the mobs will die. So what I have done now is I invited someone to the party because um, you can fight all against each other but since you can't turn PK on in this dungeon it's better to work together with others and uh, share the loot and the EXP. Now it seemed like we got our level 170 equipment and just have to search the right one. I'm using here the bow because it's a little bit easier to cast the skill then. And as you have seen, it's very easy to get level 175 on this server. After you get level 175, you can think about different things which you can do. For example, you can go for the Teller Point quests. To do so, you can go to the Rebels shop. Click for quest items, buy all the things which belong to the quest items and then move to the different cities. Starting with Rondo. In Rondo we will go to the Major and get the Talon and Point quest for the Jewels. And as you can see we got another Talon Point. The next Talon Point quest is in the City of Ruins. After we was talking to Hector we will have to go back to Rondo.
After talking to Hector again, now we have to teleport to the Mare village. The lady here now wants us to kill a blood slaughterer. And as you can see now, we got another talent point to use. After we done this quest, we go to the next quest, which is the quest for the Devil Dome dungeon. Devil Dome guy usually says here, go away, get off my lake. But as you can see, two of the NPCs are close to him, which are usually not here. And after talking to these two NPCs, you can enter the dungeon without doing anything else. Now I would like to show you some of the NPCs which I hadn't showed you yet. For example, next to the job supporter you see a snake which looks like Arbok from Pokemon. When we've been in the Ice Queen's dungeon, we've seen that we got dropped magic fevers. And this snake loves to take your magic fevers and give you things for it. For example, a Bear Mother boss card, some scrolls of taming, pieces, growth potions, the magic bag, which is very important, things which make your items plus 20, or different scrolls to summon some mobs which you can tame them. Another important point is the NPC, which is the blacksmith. And if you go to the blacksmith, you can see it can fully repair your equipped items. I wasn't careful enough with my armor and it broke totally. If something is fully broken and is a timed item at the moment, you can't repair it yet. The dev of the server is working on that, but at the moment you need to pay attention and whenever the durability of your items is going down, you can go to the blacksmith and click fully repair equipped items. Once you went to the governor's armor level 160 from the parallel world, this isn't the matter anyway. Because the level 160 armor it has no durability and you can use it as long as you want. Another NPC is the premium shop. Clicking here you can see the premium pass for 7 days. You need to buy it to unlock the shop. As you can see it's 10 billion rupees. I now bought this and can now enter the shop and see everything. For example teardrops or the gladiator supplies, galaxy stones and random creature cards. Another interesting NPC is the guild manager. Once you get in a guild you can click him and increase the level of your guild buff. And only he is the one who can give you the guild buff as well. So you shouldn't go solo and join a guild. Another NPC is the Rebels Manager. He can delevel your character or tell you something about the world boss or the quick sale option. After checking some of the NPCs we can check their teleporters and the farm zone. You can find the farm zone Rotan at the teleporter Rivandal. Check the price please. And now check the dungeon teleporter. The dungeon teleporter can teleport you to there as well but for a different price. Once you enter the zone, you will find different mobs here. For example, some birds. And hell yeah, it's a very laggy area. You can use your farm skill to farm those mobs. Use it again, move a little bit, use it again, and usually they drop dead. And you just need to get enough time so your loot pad can loot everything. If you don't want to fight the birds, you as well can fight horses or yucks. Just give your loot pad enough time to loot everything. Because the range of the loot pad is very low, I hope the dev is gonna fix this very soon, but he told us to do so, and then you have to be close to the loot so your loot pad can loot it. The farm zone is dropping special scrolls, for example the quick sell scroll. Clicking the scroll will cause everything to be sold. But you won't get much money but with pure altar energy things. With those things you can go to the altar and put them all inside of them. Then press donate, click gift of the goddess and you will get those gold boxes or other boxes depending on the one which you choose. And as you can see I got several skill cards from this thing. As well I've got some rupees but not that much and now I will equip my immortality card as well. One of the items you was already seeing but I haven't shown you in total is the diamond ingot. The diamond ingot you can see drops in different zones, for example the farm zone or the queen's dungeon where we was. Queen's dungeon is the best drop for this one as far as I noticed. 